Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this mini-series, we're going from the Earth to Mars. This is kind of our take two, because the first time I did this after the very, very long break, uh, there were a lot of inefficiencies, quite a few fumbling around with the controls. So I just wanted to do this again immediately after the other one to try and improve, hopefully. Uh, at the very least, the last time I did this in the previous series, it was a really good learning experience. So with all that said, let's go ahead and switch to the full screen view of Orbiter, unpause, and get back on track. So we have already completed our big burn to go out to Mars. So yeah, one thing, again, I'll say this, I think I said it in another video, I really don't like that I don't have control over the ambient light in this version of Orbiter. In 2010, I could raise the ambient light level enough so that I could actually still see my my vessel and the planet even if that's unrealistic I think it makes for an overall better experience so I really wish that worked in this version but it doesn't seem to work so with all that said let's uh, let's bring up orbit on this side and first of first things we just need to get away from earth so Rotation. Um, I do like to rotate around so I can actually see Earth as I'm leaving. But I probably won't have a lot of luck with that because the ambient light is just trash. So I'm going to kill rotation right here. And I, at least I can tell I'm, I should be looking at Earth at least. And we're going to warp time out. Let me actually come back like that. And I guess eventually we'll see Earth. But we're just going to get away from Earth. gonna get there's earth so let me kill rotation and hopefully earth will now stay like in my rear view mirror so to speak just so I have something to look at as I'm leaving instead of just the black inky nothingness of space all right let's uh, kill rotate now we have a moon to look at at least and let's go with maximum warp all right so we can see our encounter is now showing we're going to be missing Mars, but it fluctuates in and out. I do remember that. Um, and yeah, we just want to get, you know, like I said, well and true out away from Earth. So let me actually bring up Transex on this side also. So the green line, of course, that's where we are. So I don't think we have to really worry about what's happening here with our minimum altitude until we're, you know, I don't know, quite a ways around. So, because if I recall correctly, it tends to, like it oscillates. It, the minimum altitude goes up for a while, then it goes down, then it goes up, then it goes down, at least I think. And what I would, what I, if I remember correctly, what I would always try to do is I would try to catch it on that down oscillation, you know, when it's, when the minimum altitude kind of hits this maximum point. And then it starts coming back down. And then when it would start getting back down, it would get to a low point. That's when I would do my mid-course correction. So it looks to me like, you know, it's starting to slow down, I think. And it's still going up. But I think it's going up slower than it was. And we still have quite a while to go. Because our encounter date is 61634, where it's so four, seven, so we got a ways to go yet. All right, minimum altitude is now starting to tick backwards, I think. But uh, I don't. I might have. I might have missed the ideal time to do the to do the correction. We'll say if we get to come out a little bit of time warp here for a second we're at 489 when you get to 634 so let's say if we get to 534 so that's a hundred days out we'll make a mid-course correction regardless of what's happening with the minimum altitude I think I might have missed my I think I might have missed the opportunity to do it at the best time all right so coming up here just uh, another 20 days, and then we'll do a mid-course. 
in our minimality to Mars is close enough that we might be able to just eyeball it. That is, you know, tap the translation thrusters and just see what happens. Rather than, you know what though, okay, there we're 20 days out. Um, that can be a little bit inefficient since you don't really know uh, what way to go. So we'll actually do a full maneuver here, but it won't take very long. First thing we'll do is we'll set the date out into the future just a little bit. Currently we're at 4945 and we need time to set up the maneuver. So let's go 49, uh, just it doesn't really matter, just some point in the future, something like that. All right, now we will go to, let's just start with prograde and we'll go down to an ultra. So if I add in prograde, that is bringing the minim minimum altitude down. So first, what I like to do is just see what I can get out of like prograde for starters. So by using 16, it's improving things, but not a lot. So I don't think prograde is going to be the right one. So let's just reset that and uh, maybe outward. So let's do the same thing. Let's see how much uh, correction we can get with outward. And outward's giving us a lot more correction, but that's still, you know, that's not a, that's not a cheap burn. 68, 70, something like that. So it, I'm guessing it's going to be a combination of outward plane change and prograde, but let's keep that number in mind. So we're looking at like 84. That's not cheap. And finally, we'll see, because sometimes, you know, you just need one variable and it does everything and it, and it does it cheaply. So plane change is having a pretty significant impact and it's cheaper than the other one, uh, cheaper than outward at least. So I think, I think plane change is like the primary one that we're going to need. All right, let's go ahead and get that to its lowest point which is around 110 and we may have to do the overshoot thing back and forth but so 61 okay again not not a bargain but uh, maybe if we combine that with outward then we can get you know more what we're looking for so so that's adding in a bit of outward now let me try with a bit more plane change or maybe now I can start taking out some plane change you know, it looks like I can take out some plane change quite a bit that's good minimum altitudes coming down and so around there we'll go back to outward for a moment and by adding in some more outward getting really close now and let's switch to plane change one more time. We'll ta probably take out a bit more plane change. Yep. And that's got us at Mars. Um, I don't know that we probably really need to worry about trying to pick our target altitude just yet. We might be able to um, we might be able to start thinking about our base alignment though. I don't know. Let's find out. So Olympus is where we're going to be going, and that inclination I'm fine with. Uh, yeah, let's let's see if we can at least give some consideration to our base alignment, even though we're still this far out. So that's got us uh, quite a ways out. I'm not too worried about it though, because <clears throat> we can orbit for a while when we get there to get a natural passage over Olympus. But we'll see if we can at least get in the vicinity of... Okay, so that's got us now subterranean. And we'll go back this way. So let's go out a bit, like out to here, and then switch our variable over to plane. And that is bringing the off plane closer to okay and switch to the other variable now I need to kind of bring down that altitude okay so yeah it looks like it looks like we're gonna be able to pretty well line up with the base with these two variables as well which is always good so that's going 
Okay, so let's bring your altitude down and our off plane way off. So now we'll switch over here. And okay, so that's bringing the altitude down, bringing down the off plane. But so I think we need to go here for a bit and then here for a bit. Yeah, that combination seems to be working out really well. Switch back to the other variable for a moment. 4983. Okay, we're going to have to bump that out into the future a little bit more. Okay, and I kind of lost track which one I was working with, but... Okay, so that's that. Now over to here. All right, I think that's got us. You can see our altitude is, you know, getting where we want it to be for Mars. And uh, yeah, let's just go with that for now, and we'll we'll look at it again here in a little while. So let's view over to target, and oh boy, we don't have a whole lot of time here. So hopefully we can get this done. Should have went the other direction on the variables. And we won't bother with the burn time calculator. It's uh, it's not a super tiny burn, but for, you know what, I changed my mind. So let's get the maneuver. And warp time forward, burning just in a little bit longer here, to one. That's the burn. Now we view over to maneuver and turn that off. Bring up transex on this side Translation. and translate that difference. See our minimum altitude coming down, our distance to the base coming down. And yeah, our, it looks like, a, yeah, clearly our off base you know, I, and I noticed that when I went to the moon too, I had the same issue. The off base didn't match the plan very well, but uh, it's all right. All right, so we'll go with that for now. Bring up orbit on this side, and let's reference Mars. So we're currently, where's my time? PET, there it is. So we're really far out. So now I'll do this thing where we start just cutting the number in half. But I think what I'll do is I'll actually go to 4M and then have another look at things. So time warp. Actually, I'm also curious. Let me just double check my resources. Uh, we are 112 days on locks. So and I think that's fine because I think we're only 100 days. It's cutting it close. We sure I sure did cut that locks close. But, you know, again, I'm trying to maximize delta V. <clears throat> but I do worry when I make mid-course corrections that it's going to um, mess up my locks. But we're going to warp time forward till 4M. And then we'll take a look at our our plan. And then we'll go 2M and 1M. So PET 5.8, so we've got a ways to go. So 5.1, 5.0, all right, we're getting there, 4.5, 4.4, all right, let's come down out of time warp, all right, right around this point, doesn't have to be exact. So since we're currently uh, hitting Mars, let's set up another maneuver so we take the guesswork out of what we're trying to do. And we'll, uh, we'll do this other mid-course correction and we'll end this video and move on to the next part. So once again, we move the date out a little bit. So we're at 7309 right now. So I'll just move it forward a little bit. Hopefully we don't, hopefully the mid-course correction here is really simple. Uh, once again, we'll start with prograde, 
on a you know fine setting so that's having an impact that's having a big impact so that's probably all we need you can see with just eight so let's go super and all right i'm gonna have to bring back up map because i think we lost our base okay so now we have our base information again and so off plane distance is actually pretty close now all right minimum altitude okay so with just a small burst of translation is really all we're doing right there but i do want to try to bring that off plane down just a little bit if i can without fussing over it too much yeah these so the good news is that these this burn's going to be minuscule So going in this direction is bringing down the off plane. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to overshoot this a little bit and then go back to prograde. And we need to take out some prograde. Okay, and now over to outward and we're adding in outward. And let me go back to prograde and go in a really fine setting here. So that's raising the altitude, which I kind of need to do in order to be able to add in more outward. Because when I add in outward, it's bringing down the altitude quickly while simultaneously getting closer to the target base. And we'll probably, maybe just one more level of refinement here. I think that will do it, at least good enough for this mid-course. So let me go through that one more time, just because we are, the, the altitude is adjusting much faster than the, the off-plane. So let's take the altitude out to say 300. like that and then switch back over to this variable and we're going to add in the outward and I think that's yeah that we're going to go with this so that brings us down to you know really close to the base and the altitude will go with that even though it's not really what I want but um, I think we're still going to be in store for one more mid course all right let's uh, Rotation. let me see if I can manage to rotate the X closer to the middle. It's always difficult for me when it's out there on the edge like that. I used to have a, a method for doing it, but I don't remember what that method was. All right, okay, there, we're, we're, we're closer than it was. Now I'm going to turn on the auto center. And uh, 1.625 there is no point in using burn time calculator because it won't even it won't even do anything because the burn's so small so we'll just take care of this with uh, translation once auto center gets going although probably using more fuel to auto center than we are for the actual burn <laughs> all right we're Getting pretty close here to the auto center. Let me go ahead and time warp now. All right, and then we'll give the autopilot that last few seconds to get all settled into position. All right, coming up on the burn. Translation. Five, four, three, two, one, and burning. Switching to control thrust. And now we'll turn off auto center, view over to the maneuver. I think we're going the wrong way. Turn off maneuver. And minimum altitude showing 128. 
and off plane showing five kilometers. So those numbers are pretty close. We like that. All right, let's uh, make Control S to save at this point. Let me pause the simulation, switch over to the overlay, and that's going to take care of things for this video. When we come back, we'll continue on our way out to Mars. I'm thinking we might have uh, one or two uh, little corrections that we might have to make, but if we do, they should be super small, but I think we'll definitely get out to Mars in the next video. So if you like this, go ahead and hit the like button, and I will see you in the next video.